Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of Bitcoin, taking a look at what's been going on with the recent price action of BTC and what we think is likely to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, the link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. If you um, are looking for a little bit more from the crypto space, why not check out the Patreon services? Link is in the description below. We offer a lot more for our Patreon members via Discord, so why not check it out if that is interesting to you? Okay, let's go ahead and jump on it into this, right? Bitcoin paired up with USDT on the hourly chart, Binance is the data source. Now, as we've been talking about for the last few days, and you know, as we do every morning on the Twitch live streams, we talk about the recent price action. We've been talking about this 20,776. And this morning, we're specifically, we're talking about whether or not we actually have the ability to go that high or not. And one of the things I do think is important to kind of reflect on right now is uh, what is going on uh, and where we got to. Okay, so so what we're going to do is we're just going to break this down just a little bit, just going to zoom out just a fraction here. OK, and what we're going to do is we're going to just get rid of this for a second. We're just going to focus in on this three wave structure right here. OK, A, B and C. Now, with these three wave structures, sometimes we um, we don't actually reach our, our full potential. OK, so there's, there's a few things that was probably worth noting. OK, so when you have this A wave here and you have a B wave retracement, typically the C wave is the same size as the A wave. OK, and that's how we drove out this twenty thousand seven hundred and seventy six dollar target. OK, it's basically just ma matching up these waves right, and making them the same size. Now, one of the things that a lot of people don't understand about these three wave structures is that the C wave typically goes up here. Here. However, the minimum expectation is a double top or the same price as the A. That's the minimum expectation. And that's what happened over here. We went up into the minimum expectation not once, but twice. We have these two wicks coming into this yellow box area. Now, this yellow box area, if we zoom back and we grab my arrow again, is over here an area of resistance. Now, we can think of this as resistance or we can think of this as an area full of sellers. Okay, so up here we can see that the selling pressure was really high. This is also known as resistance. And then over this side here, you can also see the selling pressure was really high. The selling pressure was high at this A wave, and right up here, you bet it, the selling pressure was really high. So taking a look at all of these areas, we can see, okay, well, we actually met the minimum expectation inside this little area here, and we started to pull to the downside, okay, as in we got rejected as selling pressure increased. So we know that there was a pocket of sellers right inside this little area here, and we were rejected from it. This also ties up nicely with a maybe lower than expected, but still C wave structure. Okay, now we have to reflect on what is happening. Now it's still possible, technically speaking, to come up here. Okay, it's still technically possible to come to 20,776, maybe even 21,000, a little bit higher. Okay, only really do I think this gets invalidated when we cross 18,920 down here, this dash line. And truly, by the time we actually move down lower than this one, um, at 18,471, can we say absolutely categorically, it's done, that structure's finished, and it finished just up here inside this little demand zone. OK, uh, or supply zone, as I should say. Right now, let's move on to what's going on right now. We can see that we have moved down and we've actually come down in a three wave structure. Now, this yellow box that I drew on here in this morning's live stream, this is another area that was previous resistance and we were turning it into support. OK, so this was a supply zone that turned to a demand zone. And in the last hour, we have absolutely smashed through it. Now, the reason for this is I think is a jobs report that the traders over in the US are, are kind of reacting to. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know why they're overreacting because it's kind of an, this is a known variable. We kind of know what's going on in the space. But that being said, the data comes out, people are going to react to it, right? So it's an emotional response. Now, from an Elliott Wave theory point of view, we kind of already knew that we we're going to move down um because we had this three wave structure right here okay so obviously our minimum expectation if it is here okay then we've actually got this going on one two and three okay now if we move this over we would have said actually uh, typically we should have finished about here okay so we've just overextended and we're still pulling down okay so this three wave structure would tell us that our um 
demand zone should hold up right we can wick down that's okay we're not too bothered by that and um, but it should hold now taking a look at where we've wicked down to already we're okay we're above the the 1.382 at the moment but if this does come down to 19270 then i think we've got bigger problems okay for the most part this can all be c wave it can be c wave all the way down to here but the second that it moves past that 1.236 this is no longer a c wave territory this is a, becomes a trend to the downside okay so one of the things with three wave structures is they're not trends, they're short-term corrective moves. And the second that we start seeing five wave structures, then we've got trends and then we've potentially got longer, bigger term problems, okay? So knowing that we're okay at the moment until 19,270, uh, which I will go ahead and just throw on a little label around here, okay, exactly 19. 270 so if we do cross that level we know we've got a problem but at the moment it looks like there are some there is some demand coming in trying to chew through uh, the recent sell orders and we're just trying to see if we can push above if we get closed below this level like we did previously chances are we'll confirm this as our resistance and we'll continue to move down okay so we're going to keep a close eye on that now with that being said okay this is still in play as long as we stay above this area, in my opinion. And um, the second we start dropping down into these lower ranges, then I think we can just say new structures are required, okay? And now if we start thinking about everything that's been going on here, we have three waves coming up here, we have three waves going down, we have three waves this way. So it all, all add up quite well here. It's not a problem that this is the top of C wave or anything like that. We can just deal with what comes, okay? Now let's jump into the stochastic here. Now the stochastic RSI shows us that we have a lot of momentum to the downside. So this particular move could actually go ahead and trigger a five wave structure and we could start to see some, you know, pretty more, uh, pretty bearish moves to the downside, right? We could see some more pain before we get into any kind of gains right um so just keep that in mind that the move might continue to the downside really our trigger point is 19,270 and obviously we wouldn't want to overlap the wave one scenario which we can talk about tomorrow in the live stream on twitch should that arise um on the four hourly we actually have a reasonable amount of momentum to the upside so i'm not overly concerned too much about the short-term move to the downside a bounce upwards is highly likely and we can reassess the position but obviously we need to understand where the support levels are going to come in where the resistance levels are going to be in and where the new supply ranges are and where the new uh, demand ranges are these are going to be important pieces of information to allow us to make more informed decisions with moment is a little bit too soon as this is literally just happening as i'm recording this video we don't know where that candle is going to end for another a uh, few minutes or so and if it closes underneath this and so forth right so it's going to be one of those we're going to keep a close eye on it the eight hourly still has a long way to go so i'm not uh, not bullish there the daily also has a long way to go i'm not bullish on that either so there's a lot of room to the downside um and like we always have these kind of you know higher highs and higher lows they always tend to break to the downside you're seeing similar patterns in here as well so not optimistic um we obviously spoke about this being kind of some kind of like you know big big kind of structured move like a, an a b c taking us down towards 16 fifteen thousand dollars something like that and um, so essentially all of that is still valid we're not concerned uh this is stuff that we talk about every single day we know what's going on with the wallets and uh what's moving around where it's going who's accumulating that kind of stuff so we close below as you can see we're getting another red candle here keeping a close eye on this uh stochastic has moved down quite nicely now as we close that candle but there's still more room to the downside here so uh, just expect this to kind of you know move progressively and uh, keep a close eye on it but do join us on twitch tomorrow i'll link in the description below um the stream that we did this morning on bitcoin for anyone who is interested so you can catch up with that um, but other than that guys i will catch you all in the next one and uh, have a fantastic day guys